Hey there, team. Uh, this is for 6 11, I believe, is the date. It is our Thursday. Yes, yeah, 6 11. So, um, what we have 10 minutes to accumulate 20 each leg, leading of um, jerk jump to split. Last two weeks, we've been doing drop to split. So, jump to split. Um, that means we are allowing a dip and an extension before we drop back down into that split. What does that mean? Well, that means that we can go heavier with it. It's going, it's still gonna be a technique worker, but for those that have that technique down, let's put some load on them. They can get actually fairly heavy with this, which is great because it's building strength in that split and also now working on that explosion um, of the dip. And remembering with that, we wanna make sure they don't have a muted hip, right? Meaning they don't keep their hips back and they're leading with their chest, really. We want to extend those hips all the way, drive through the feet, and then go into that split portion. Um, that is going to be 20 each leg leading. Then we have Spartan, which is two rounds for time, 16 minute time cap. This is a broken wad, meaning there's two minutes rest after each round, so there's two minutes rest in the middle. We have a 2500 slash 2000 meter bike, and then a 600 meter sandbag back rack run, run, which is I believe four or three, four slash three inserts with that. Um, we're looking for that bike to take a little bit under four minutes, and then um, a actually a little bit under like three and a half minutes, and then that run uh, to take around sorry, two, two, three, about four minutes or so, something like that. So it's a little bit aggressive time cap, but they're gonna be able to do it. It's gonna be great. This is just um, once again some more odd object endurance work with this, but because of that two minutes rest, they are going faster than if they're doing two rounds for time. They should come a bit faster. Um, our warm up today, we have eight minute flow, 30 second assault bike, 10 foam roller thoracic openers. So feet are on the wall, keep that butt on the ground. Foam roller is going to be about uh, between those shoulder blades, hands behind your head, and lean back, keeping that butt on the ground, and then crunch up. Those people are going to feel their um, uh, thoracic spine pop a little bit, which is okay. It's truly good. Then we have uh, six each leg empty barbell overhead lunge. If someone has the mobility for this, um, we can make this sandbag also. All right. That's going to require um, a lot more shoulder and thoracic mobility in there, but if they can do it, that's awesome. And that's gonna be six each leg. We can make an alternate, or we can do six, one leg, six, yeah. Then we have six each side, um, side plank banded row. So with this, what I'm doing this, what we got going on, there's Al just getting in the way, bye, love you. Um, so let's say I am side planking and I am, you guys are the rig. All right, you guys, your view is the rig, so the rig's actually in front of me. I am in this side plank here, and then the band is there in front of me, and I'm pulling this way, all right? So it's not going to be facing me, I'm not like this, but I am over here, all right? Um, with this, if that side plank like that is a little bit too hard, you can go on those knees like so, all right? So that's what we got going on today. Um, it's going to be a sweaty one, which I'm super excited about. Bye.